Megan. Hey. For those that don't know who I am, this is. Hey everyone, I'm Minnie. And this is. Paitley. And who do we have here? Hi everybody. My name is Anderson. Anderson. And these are my. These. And Paitley. Paitley. Yeah. These are my three little kiddos, and so we're excited to bring you day one's lesson on the foundation of love. Each day, you will learn how to build and make your uh, foundation stronger with God. So let's talk about a foundation for a minute. We have a special place we're at today. We are right across the street from our house and they're building a new house. So, so we wanted to show y'all the new house that they're building and they're on a big solid foundation. Emmett, what do you, what is this foundation made out of? Concrete. Concrete. It's made out of concrete. Do you think that makes it stronger, weak, Anderson? Concrete and game. Yes. Yeah, so does it make, does it, the foundation, if it's gone concrete, is it stronger, weak? It's what? What is it, Emmett? Strong or weak? Strong. It's strong. The foundation is strong. So, we, and you have special tools that build the foundation, like hammers and wrenches and screwdrivers and saws. So, we have special tools that we need to use, too, to build our foundation with Jesus. Emmett, what foundation, what do we, what special tool do we need to use for our foundation with Jesus, do you think? Mm. What is this right here? Ba um, a, bi a Bible. Bible. We have to use a Bible. The Bible is our special tool. Just like we use hammers and screwdrivers and other things to build with foundations or we're building things. So we have to use the Bible. So today we're going to talk about Matthew. But here's our story. Jesus chose Matthew. Matthew was a tax collector. Do you know what a tax collector is, Emmett? Do you know? A person that collects money. It collects your taxes. And he often sat at a booth where people came to pay their taxes. Many people did not like tax collectors because they often took more money than they were supposed to. Is that good? Are we supposed to take things from people? No. No. So people didn't like tax collectors because they took more money than what they should. They kept extra for themselves. Oh no. One day, Jesus walked by and saw Matthew sitting on a t at a toll booth. Jesus said to Matthew, follow me. Matthew got up immediately. He jumped up right then. He didn't hesitate. He didn't say no. He jumped up right then leaving everything behind to follow Jesus. Matthew hosted a grand banquet at his house. Do you know what a banquet is? It's like a big dinner. It's a big fancy dinner at his house. Jesus and his disciples came to the banquet. Many tax collectors and other sinners were there also, eating with Jesus and his disciples. When the Pharisees came, those are the teachers of the law. Pharisees were the teachers of the law. They saw this. They began to complain. They began to ask, why is Jesus eating with these people? They asked, Jesus, they asked why Jesus was eating and drinking with tax collectors and sinners. They didn't understand why and complaining. Jesus overheard the Pharisees talking to his disciples. He said to them, it is not those who are well who need a doctor, but those who are sick. For I didn't come to call the righteous, but sinners. Jesus was not interested in how a good person was or how bad. Jesus wanted people to listen and follow Jesus. This is in Matthew 9, 9 through 13. So we just read our story through in Matthew 9. And we talked about how Jesus chose Matthew. And you know, he, told, he chose Matthew... And Matthew, did Matthew stop and hesitate, or did Matthew jump up really fast? Jump up really fast. And what did he do? Followed him. He followed Jesus. Jesus, Jesus, to love everybody. We're supposed to love everybody. There's nothing you can do to earn his love. Jesus just chooses to love us. 
in Matthew 22, Jesus tells us, Love the Lord your God with all your heart, all your soul, and all your mind, but also love your neighbors as yourself. Just like in our story, they asked why Jesus was eating and drinking with sinners. He chooses to love them, and he chooses to love us. Our weekly verse is Philippians 1, 6. And guys, I need your help with this, Emma and Anderson and Pately. I need your help with this. We're going to recite Philippians 1, 6, okay? Here, friends, this is the verse that we're going to learn all week long. So you're going to repeat after me. Are you ready to repeat me and shout it? Emmett, come sit down and shout it. Ready? Here we go. He who started a good work. Started a good work. And you. And you. And you. Will carry it on. Yeah. To completion. Completion. Philippians. Philippians. 1-6. 1-6. So let's remember that Jesus chooses us to, Jesus to love us, and we should choose to love others in him as well. I hope you'll have a great week. Tell everybody bye. Say bye, friends. We'll see you soon. Hey, boys and girls. Is this where our neighborhood VBS is? My new friend Kristen from Concrete and Cranes Consulting told us this might be a good place to learn about foundations. Can I join you? Thanks. My name's Thule. People call me that because I always have a tool in my hand. I picked up a VBS book from the drive through preview event. I've been glancing through it. It's not exactly what I was expecting. I don't see anything about steel foundations or measurement requirements. In fact, the first lesson is entitled The Foundation of Love. I'm not going to be part of some dating game, am I? No? Good. I think the book might be talking about a different kind of love. Listen to what Jesus says in John 15, 9. As the Father has loved me, I have also loved you. Remain in my love. That's from the Bible. And the word Father is capitalized. So I think it means the Father. You know, like God our Father, God our Father. Wow. That means that God loves Jesus. And in that same way, Jesus loves me and you. Well, that right there is enough to make a gal feel pretty special that Jesus loves me. I bet if more people heard this news, they would feel a lot better. And if we realized that Jesus loves all people, we might find it easier to love people too. Hmm, that's interesting to think about, isn't it? That God loves everyone. I wonder why they call this lesson the foundation of love. Hmm. Kristen from Concrete and Cranes Consulting said that foundations keep buildings grounded and safe and secure too. You know, less wobbly, less easily blown over when things don't go well. Thanks for letting me join your class today. I'll see you next time to learn about another foundation. Let me say today's verse one more time. As the Father has loved me, I have also loved you. Remain in my love. That's John 15, 9. Till then, keep it rocking as we remain in the love of Jesus, like the verse says.